Richard Moss is a visionary thinker, a teacher, and an author on transformation and the art of conscious living. More than 30 years ago, he left the practice of medicine after a life-changing realization that he needed to help others realize their multidimensional nature. This, he says, is the key to letting go of our burden of negativity and suffering. People around the world have benefited from his work, where they learn holistically with their mind, body, and feelings. Most of us, however, tend to live split between two worlds worlds of mind, neither aware of the other. Yes, the, that to me is, it, it, it's, the, it's, the, it's the cosmic joke. How could we be so smart and be so stupid? How smart are people like Alan Greenspan that could allow such in, you know, economic stupidity to happen? How smart are these people that run these, these multi-billion dollar financial, Bear Stearns just collapsed, right? right? I mean, right. these people are supposedly smart, the brightest of the bright. You want to know how no bright they are? They are the brightest of the bright, but they're like a horse with blinkers on. They're walking along like this, and they're super bright, but they're looking at one one millionth of the picture. And the minute, you know, the, it's the notion of, they have the focus of an eagle, but they don't have the spacious, vast view of the terrain that the eagle has. Yes. You know? they. So, so they, they think of themselves as eagles soaring above the society worth millions a year for their intelligence. <laughs> and they don't have a view of the world in its integrity, a view of connectedness, a view of belonging, because they wouldn't choose to act the way they do in service to their own organizations if they had a spacious mind. They have a focused mind, a trained mind, a narrow mind, and they're rewarded for it. They get wealthy. They have the best of the best. They can stay on task. You know, and some of them are wonderful people. Yeah. You know, that you don't, you don't, you can be successful and have a, a spiritual awareness. But most, most of them don't have a deep spiritual awareness. What they have is a kind of religious, and it's almost a contradiction in their lives. They're religious over here, and then they're ruthlessly focused over here, and the two worlds don't meet. This is an incredibly lucid, must-see video. For the full interview, go to ConsciousMediaNetwork.com.